The exclusive or is kind of a weird symbol, and this is because the output is only true when the number of true inputs is odd. As always, there are many ways to get an exclusive OR into your program, the first of which is to click the logic folder under the program view and type in the speed key X OR spelled out and hit enter. Alternatively, you could expand the conditional folder under logic symbols and then click and drag the exclusive OR over to the detail view. And as we stated before, the output of the exclusive OR only goes true when the number of true inputs is odd. So for a 3 input exclusive OR like the one shown here, the only cases when the output line would be true is when any one of the inputs is true by itself, or when all three are true at the same time. Any other case would make the exclusive OR output a false. Even when all of the inputs are false, the output is false. Let's make a quick example program just to examine how the exclusive OR works. I'm going to decrease the number of inputs on the exclusive OR to 5 and I'm going to drive each of the inputs of the exclusive OR with a toggle. The toggles in turn will be driven by the outputs of an X panel. I'm going to take the outputs of the toggles and feed them back to the exclusive OR. I'm also going to duplicate the outputs of the toggles onto the X panel so we can see what their states are in real time. And then I'm going to take the output of the exclusive OR and feed it back to the X panel. Okay, with our program done and dusted, let's compile and upload to the processor. Now that the program is uploaded and running, let's take a look at how the exclusive OR works. If I trigger the first input, we notice that the output of the exclusive OR stays on. But the moment that I make the number of true inputs even by selecting another input, the output of the exclusive OR goes false. To make the exclusive OR's output go true again, I could turn off either of these inputs, or I could turn on any of the other inputs. Note that the order of the inputs is irrelevant. All that matters is the number of true inputs. An exclusive OR would work if you had two users who wanted the radio to play when they're home alone, but not when they're home together. Mm -hmm.